Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksnest here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Now, inside of today's video, we're going to be checking out the brand new patch notes for Season 2 of the COD Mobile 2021. Whatever, I don't want to just call it Season 2, because, like, we've already had Season 2, but at the same time, Season 2 2021, I, I guess that's probably the best way to say it. But anyway, we have patch notes for Season 2 of Call of Duty Mobile, which is approaching very, very soon. The exact release date, depending on... Here, let me, let me pull up the exact release time, basically, uh, so that everyone's kind of kept up to date with exactly what that is. All right, I can't find the exact exact date anywhere but i'm pretty sure it's the 10th if you live in the u.s and it's the 11th if you live basically anywhere else so obviously if you live in like uh, southeast asia or europe or africa it, really anywhere but the u.s i guess south america also it would be on the 10th uh, i'm pretty sure that's what it is i i can't find that anywhere but i'm like 90 percent sure i saw that somewhere reputable yeah. But anyway, outside of that, today we're going to be taking a look at the patch notes for the update that is coming, as well as looking at basically what the battle pass is going to look like. So if you guys want to see all the skins for the battle pass, this is, or not all the skins, but at least the most important ones. So as you can tell, we're going to be getting a skin or an Alex skin, a Milsim Brute skin, Mace back for more skin, and then Mara Awakening. In my personal opinion, I know people say this basically every battle, but that's not true. I guess the past few battle passes have been lacking, but in my opinion, this is the battle pass. And the biggest reason I think that is also because the epic skins actually look like epic skins like as you can tell all of these have custom geometry custom colors and everything they don't look like their normal guns which in my opinion is super cool like literally the hvk looks kind of like a completely different gun it still looks like an hvk but it doesn't just look like an hvk with like a couple different colors or, or something like that so as you can tell the weapon skins are super unique the character skins in my opinion are some of the best character skins we've seen i love the mace one especially and then mara for all the simps of course and then also the main epic skin is the brand new as foul gun and we, as you can tell we get the as foul judgment skin i'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see but yeah, so if you guys want to take a peek, feel free. Uh, I did do a video kind of talking about what the AS file would look like because we were able to test it inside of the test server. Obviously, it might get changed up when it does come out, but it seems like it's actually going to be a super solid weapon. I don't think it'll be busted. I don't think it'll be bad. I think it'll be pretty balanced, if not maybe on the more strong side, I guess. It does seem pretty hard to use, though. But yeah, so that is the battle pass, but we're not here really to talk about that. I just really quickly wanted to show that to you guys. What we're here to talk about is going to be the patch notes. Now, the patch notes that we have are courtesy of Call of Duty Mobile News news on Facebook. I've seen a couple people sharing this and I'm pretty sure it is reputable. If it isn't reputable, I won't post this video. I'm going to go ahead and do research, but uh, I just wanted to record a video based on these patch notes right here. But if you are seeing this video, I did check the sources and I'm like 99% sure that this is confirmed. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what this says. And do keep in mind, this is going to be translated from some kind of Asian language. I'm not sure exactly what language. Uh, these aren't the Chinese uh, versions patch notes. I know that for sure, because the Chinese version of COD Mobile is not getting the same battle passer. It's like a completely different game, to be honest. So this is going to be coming for Garena and Global. So yeah, once again, uh, translations might be a little bit broken. It might be kind of hard to understand some certain things. So I'll try to break that down as best as I can. But let's go ahead and get right into this. So the new ranked season is going to be coming. It is going to be going from March to May 2021. And then the new season rewards are going to be a QXR skin as well as a uh, character skin, which is going to be Kruger Burst Steel. And then obviously, once again, QXR Roaring Steel. There also is going to be the seasonal event for the SPR, which is going to be coming later in the season, as well as the perk. I forgot exactly what perk this is. It is in the test server. I'll probably just put it on the screen when I actually am editing this video, as well as the description for what exactly it does. But as you can tell, it's in a different language. Not sure what that Maybe Korean. I think this is the Korean version of COD Mobile. I think that's where these patch notes are coming from. So I'll go ahead and put that on the screen. Uh, and then basically we're, it's going to be describing the SPR, which we've already looked at that. So I'm not going to read that as well as the new perk right here, which once again, I'll put the description on the screen so you guys can see that. But basically it says when an enemy is defeated, the surrounding enemy is scanned and displayed on the mini map. So that's what that is. After that, we do have the new shooting range map. I'm not going to read into this because it's a map. It's not like we have to know all the, the details about it. Uh, shooting range map coming to COD Mobile this season. After that, we're going to be getting shipment, uh, basically just the original shipment, not shipment 1944 as another new map. And then after that, we have a new mode sniper shootout. I'm not really going to read into that, but if you guys want to see it's right there. And then also there is a new loadout function. It says outline of the design. You can select and change a pattern conveni conveniently by cl clicking the outline icon in the loadout. Um, I think we saw that in the test server. I'm not exactly sure what that was, but I remember seeing something a little bit different inside of the uh, the loadout feature. Then after that, there's also the recently acquired items. So that is what I remember there. Basically, you just could see a list of all of your items that you got recently so that you could uh, basically just find it a lot easier after you get the new items. And then after that, there's also the available designs option where you can check out the newly available designs in the loadout, which I think is basically for the skins. I think when it says designs, it means like your, your weapon skins. 
After that, there's a new mode called Tank Battle inside of the BR. If you guys want to read it, you can read it right here. Mostly for this video, I'm concerned about like the changes and all that, not necessarily like the new features, like the new modes and maps and stuff. So if you guys want to read it, you can see it right there, but we're going to go ahead and skip through. So right here, it says new custom air supply weapon. So basically for uh, loadout drops, I guess, inside of BR, uh, you're going to be able to set a pistol, which that makes sense. I don't think you're able to do that before. I never even tried to do that, so I'm not sure, but I, I guess that's a new feature. You can now add pistols inside of BR loadout drops. After that, it says the weapon list updates. So it looks like this is going to be for BR, the weapons that are inside of BR. Uh, I'm not quite sure. So it says general AK-117 SKS M4 light machine gun, so M4 LMG, and then the GKS. Then you have the advanced AK-47 oh oh so they're adding basically different uh rarities to the weapon so the ak-117 will have a general rarity which i think is just common i think it's called and then advanced is like uh uncommon i think uh there's gonna be like an uncommon ak-47 and then rare there's gonna be a rare ak-117 so i, I kind of think that's what's going on so as you can tell also the val is being added inside of br which you can tell right here as well as the spr so again uh trend, i'm not sure exactly what the rarity tiers are but i would assume just this is the lower tier and then it gets higher as we go so basically they're adding that inside of br um and then for the rare section there is also the m4 lmg razorback qq9 etc you guys can see all the guns right here hopefully i explained that well enough and then it goes up to epic and then legendary so i can't tell if this is basically what they're changing or just a quick refresher on exactly what the different rarities are for the different weapons i kind of think that's what it is again kind of confusing i don't play a lot of br so not going to get into that too much but if you are an avid br player hopefully you understand exactly what this means so let's go ahead and go on to the next section after that we do have some improvements and optimizations inside of the multiplayer so this is where we kind of get into the buffs and nerfs territory so uh first thing it says is it increased the vertical recoil control of the owc designated shooter rifle barrel attachment for the msmc so basically the um owc barrel on the msmc uh, you're going to be getting more vertical recoil on it or no i think it's going to make it so you get more vertical recoil control so it's actually a buff to that attachment uh aiming shot time reduction for the YKM, ykm uh combat butt attachment for the s36 ul736 rpd and m4 lmg so the lmg's um ykm combat that uh, stock uh, is going to be getting a aiming shot time reduction. Uh, a a ADS time, ADS time reduction. So I, I don't know if that's a nerf or a buff. Kind of hard. Again, translations are a little bit tough, but it seems like for the YKM combat stock, uh, ADS speed time reduction. I don't know if it's a time reduction, which means a buff or a speed reduction. I assume a time reduction, but again, it's kind of hard to tell with the translations. So I'm going to assume a buff for the YKM combat butt atta or stock attachment attachment. The negative effect of the OWC designated shooter rifle barrel attachment, the, these attachment names uh, for the HBRA3 has been reduced. So less negative effect on the OWC uh, barrel for the HBRA3. DLQ33's damage is increased to 90 and wall penetration damage is increased. So I guess just the DLQ is getting an overall buff on its damage and wall penetration, which is interesting um, because considering like, I, I don't know, that's just an interesting change to me. So it just kind of seems like a buff. Although I do think that won't really affect most of your shots. I think. You're still going to be one shotting to the same parts of the body and everything i just think maybe wall penetration or wall bangs will be a little bit better but i think for the most part that's not going to be a big buff for the dlq ads time reduction for the drh without the butt board attachments has been increased i think butt board is stock uh because like butt stock or whatever I, I think that's what it means uh ads time reduction for the drh without a stock so but for maybe so the no so the no stock drh has been increased so i would assume the ads time of the drh no stock has been increased so i think it's a nerf to the no stock attachment on the drh that's how i interpret that uh screen shake is reduced when an attachment without butt plate for drh is hit uh w when you don't have no stock on the drh you're going to be getting more aim punch or, or more flinch i think the accuracy of the icr no butt plate so the no stock on the icr uh, accuracy attachment in the krm battle butt plate <laughs> attachment has been slightly reduced um the accuracy of the icr no so the no stock on the icr the accuracy of the no stock in the icr has been slightly reduced that's how i take that and then the krm has been slightly reduced so the accuracy on the krm stock as well has been reduced so I, I think the nerf to the accuracy on the krm and the icr no stock or something like that god this is so hard to interpret screen shake slightly increases when an attachment without the butt plate for asm 10 is hit so when you don't have when you have no stock on the asm 10 so i guess when you have no stock on the asm 10 you're going to be getting more uh more aim punch that's what that makes sense because like the sm10 is a three shot and they are trying to nerf three shots a little bit so i don't know I, I, that's what it looks like to me 
After that, we have the Arctic 50. They reduce the damage multiplier for the legs of the Arctic 50 wall penetration damage and MIP blocking magazine and attachment. So I guess the stopping power, MIP stopping power, I think is the attachment name. I'm not I'm not quite sure, but it looks like the Arctic 50 is going to be getting a overall nerf. Uh, the lethality is now reduced when hitting legs through the wall as well. So it just seems like an Arctic 50 nerf overall. Also, the Arctic 50 intercept shot ammo capacity reduced from 20 to 15. So um, I think, I don't know if that's the normal magazine. I don't know if that's saying the extended mag goes from 20 to 15. I kind of forget exactly what magazine has 20, but the mag that has 20 is being reduced to 15 and max capacity reduced from 40 to 30. So the total amount of ammo that you have, I'm pretty sure is what that's, that's saying. They also changed the aiming shot time. They increased it from 12% to 30%. Okay, I think this right here is talking about the stopping power rounds. I could be wrong. And I think they increased the ADS uh, time from 12% to 30% increase. I'm going to go ahead and pull up COD Mobile so we can check out the Arctic 50 and see exactly what attachment they're, they're referring to right now. I apologize for this being such a busted uh, uh, thing. It's really hard to uh, understand a lot of this. So that's why we're doing a video, kind of breaking it all down the way that I view it. Okay, so MIP stopping power reload. Um, it says you get plus 12% ADS time. So yeah, this is basically saying that your uh, ADS speed is gonna be even worse when you use the stopping power on the Arctic 50. That's what it's saying. It's gonna go from 12% increase to 30%. Uh, and then the fire vol fire uh, firing interval uh, is gonna be increased from 40% to 50%. So basically the time in between shots is, instead of being 40% higher, it's gonna be 50% higher. So once again, a nerf. Uh, the war machine explosion radius has been reduced. So nerf to the war machine. Uh, war machine damage reduction effect has been reduced. So also damage reduction effect. I don't know what that means necessarily. I don't know if they're just saying that they're reducing the damage or what's going on with that, but it seems like a war machine nerf or maybe just an adjustment. Um, the damage range of the gravity spikes has been reduced. The annihilator's damage to stealth, helicopters, XS1 Goliaths, VTOL shield turrets, and transform shields has been slightly reduced. So just less damage to other score streaks and operators. Uh, soldiers with dead silence perk no longer hear their footsteps and their audible range of running is reduced. So dead silence is getting a buff where basically you can't hear your own footsteps. And then also uh, the, the sound of... Um, the sound of running is now reduced. So instead of it being where um, dead silence only affected when you're walking, it now also affects when you're sprinting by just reducing the radius. It's still going to be audible if they're close, but at farther distances, it's not. So a little buff uh, to the dead silence perk, essentially. You can also now jump while moving along the wall. Uh, you can jump while moving along the wall. That sounds like a Black Ops 3 exoskeleton thing, but I think that just is if talking about like vaulting, like maybe when you're... You can now jump while moving along the wall. I'm confused what that means. That seems like it's gonna be pertaining to vaulting and stuff, but maybe all of a sudden they just pulled out exoskeleton stuff, I don't know. Uh, they optimize the speed control when moving next to a wall or obstacle. So it just seems like they're kind of messing with how you move against walls, because obviously that is kind of a pain sometimes. Uh, they optimize the player hitboxes when switching between standing, sitting, and prone positions. That's actually really cool. So it's just gonna be a little bit more fluid, I guess. Um, I guess it's affecting hitboxes. So I don't know if that's necessarily gonna affect when you're like, I don't know. I don't know if that's more so for like combat or when you're just like moving in general. It's a little bit like it's not super fluid right now, I guess. So maybe they're either fixing that or they're just making it so the hitboxes are a little bit cleaner because I don't know. I guess they were a little bit busted before. They increase the number of frames per second for the character. I don't know if this means we're getting 100 or 90 FPS or 120 FPS. Uh, increases the number of frames per second for the character. So I, yeah, I, I don't know if that's just optimization with character animations being a little bit smoother, or if that's saying, hey, we're giving you guys 120 FPS this season. So we'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. The fact that it says frames per second just leads me to believe it's it, we're getting 120 FPS, but I don't know. It's weird because it says for the character and it didn't say 120 specifically or 90 or whatever. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, in the test server, they did add 90 or 120 FPS. I'm not sure which one it is. I saw the look to be 100% sure, but basically you have the option to have increased FPS. So I would assume it's that. Uh, but following that, it says enemy movements and movements are enemy movements and movements are improved more precisely and smoothly. So overall, a quality of life just making things look a little bit smoother. Uh, they optimize the sound effects for various locations so that enemies can more accurately locate enemies. Interesting. Uh, also, looking back at the enemy movements and movements are uh, improved more precisely and smoothly. I think they also added the tactical sprinting because that was in the test server. You don't see that yourself, but an enemy, uh, you'll when they're running with an SMG, they'll be tax sprinting. Or in BR, if you're in third person, you'll see yourself tax sprinting. Um, after that, it says fixed an issue that would cause players to get stuck when pausing or passing through a windowsill. Okay, so just fix that issue. Uh, fix an issue that caused soldiers to get stuck for a while when crossing the shortcut next to the laundry in the raid. 
um okay so that little issue is fixed on the raid map uh fixed a crash error in some specific scenes in takeoff fixed a crash error in certain areas of Tun tunisia i think uh, and then inside of battle royale the accuracy of aiming shots of all weapons has been increased that is so good that is so good that they did that so basically less bsa things are tighter beautiful beautiful they increase the horizontal recoil for all weapons okay understandable um i think basically they're saying okay here's the issue of guns in br which i've said this before it's too random whereas horizontal recoil is harder to it's hard to control because it's you got to learn it but at least it's learnable so basically this is going to be good for skillful players that are learning weapons you can you can learn the recoil of a gun and get used to it whereas before it was like bsa super random you couldn't predict it so that kind of seems like what they're doing they're making it more skillful so that's a lot nicer in my opinion uh, popular weapons such as the ak-47 and ak-117 have a lower control gain than other weapons so i think a nerf to those two weapons it's kind of weird how that's worded right there but it seems like a nerf uh target destination time of the fhj is changed to one second so it, it locks on a little bit quicker or slower i don't know how long it took before uh fhj 18's projectile firing speed is reduced to 110 meters per second that's the first time i've ever seen cod bubble refer to uh, a meters per second so um and it accelerates to maximum speed after firing so they've they've kind of changed how long it actually like or, or the speed that it flies as well as the acceleration on it which once again is the first time i've ever seen them refer to like bullet velocity or anything like that so that's interesting uh the accuracy rate of submachine guns and shotguns is greatly increased so it looks like a buff to smgs as well as shotguns sniper rifle recoil is greatly increased oh recoil control so better recoil control it seems like uh the tempest damage and damage radius is increased the annihilator's range has been increased and enemies can now be eliminated with two shots at any distance so that's okay interesting i've never really used the annihilator inside of pr so i don't know what it was before but there's that uh increase the projectile distance for all killing and tactical weapons uh I, I guess you can throw so killing probably means lethal it's probably saying lethal and tactical you probably can throw those farther that's how i'd interpret that uh when the cluster bomb sticks to an object a warning is displayed and the direction of the bomb is displayed on the screen gotcha uh they discarded firearms no longer display remaining ammunition oh discarded firearms so like when you when you put a firearm away it no longer uh displays remaining ammunition uh wingsuit landing behavior has been optimized that's good it's been a little bit weird optimized server tick rate so basically that's good I, I, you don't really need to know what that means just know it's good uh optimize the player hitbox when switching between standing sitting and prone positions same thing as they did inside the multiplayer the number of frames per second of the character increases which once again leads me to believe we're gonna have a higher option of fps in the movement and movement of the enemy are improved more precisely and smoothly once again probably gonna be the tactical sprinting uh, optimized sound effects for various locations so that enemies can more accurately locate enemies gotcha and after that we have a game mode optimization uh we have radio silence the battery limit function has been added to the night sight equipment but the undead of the night attack is an exception i don't know what that means uh after that it says emp can temporarily paralyze night vision equipment gotcha score streak items and thrown mines now display team colors even with night sights turned on so this just seems like um radio silence is probably like the night mode or whatever so this is gonna be night mode optimizations uh i'm gonna quickly yeah this is all night related so i don't really care that much uh after that main base a new scoring rule called continuous control has been added to the main bases i, I don't know what main base is uh soldiers who continue to occupy key points re receive additional points so main base is maybe hard point that makes sense hard point i, I can see how the translation says that so uh, a new scoring rule called continuous control has been added to the main to the hard points not sure what that means soldiers who occupy the key points so probably the hard point receive additional points uh fix an issue where soldiers respond too far from the target don't know uh prop hunt a new map tunisia is inside a prop hunt uh, and then ranked uh they changed multiplayer a little bit they optimized the algorithm for evaluating a player's combat power and ability at all ranks including legendary ranks so faster queue times uh, legendary players with a score of around 6500 are less often matched with legendary players with very high scores uh, optimize the ui of the ranking lobby battle royale they optimize the rank point calculation algorithm as a whole players can now earn more ranked points in a new season gotcha and then we loop back around to the beginning so that's going to be all of the patch notes super long video uh, a lot of stuff to go over uh excited for this season a lot of stuff that just seems like better optimization with the game so excited for that br seems like it'll be just overall a little bit better considering uh we have the better accuracy and all that we have better fps uh based on what i've seen inside of the test server it's if it's like that so overall better experience for cod mobile excited for this season uh and then once again excited to see exactly all of the skins inside of the game because once again this, this video has gone on too long I've I've already said this stuff i hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop a like and subscribe i'll see you guys later peace